In this video we share Our Lady's message to Luz de Maria for March 31, 2024. Please like, comment and subscribe to assist me in sharing these messages with a larger audience. Thank you. Here is the message of Our Lady to Luz de Maria de Bonilla for March 31, 2024, Easter Sunday. Beloved children of my heart, as Queen and Mother of the last times I come to you with the light that my Divine Son emphasized in His resurrection so that you, like your children, may be the salt of the earth and the light that illuminates the world. Fears are over, faith overcomes trials, overcomes fears and fears before the light that illuminates the thought, mind and heart of each of the human creatures by sending His Holy Spirit so that with His gifts, virtues, and truth, he remains in human creatures and guides them towards heavenly happiness. One and only truth remains in humanity. My Divine Son has risen to be the light that guides humanity with His love so that it is more of the most holy trinity than of the mundane. He who loves, gives everything, protects His children if they are in danger, He is ahead of the stumbles, in illness it is medicine, it is my Divine Son who forgives sinners. Beloved children, the experts in love and the rest will be given to you in addition. The poor in spirit are blessful, for the kingdom of heaven will be theirs. Blessed are those who cry because they will be comforted. Blessed are the suffering, because they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who are hungry and thirsty for justice, because they will be satiated. Holy Easter, children. I love you. Mother Mary. The following brief commentary comes from Luz de Maria de Bonilla. Brothers and sisters. Hallelujah, the Lord has risen, hallelujah. Amen. Luz de Maria de Bonilla is a Catholic mystic, stigmatist, wife, mother, and prophet from Costa Rica, currently residing in Argentina. She grew up in a very religious home with great devotion to the Eucharist, and as a child, experienced heavenly visits from her guardian angel and the Blessed Mother, whom she considered her companions and confidants. In 1990, she received a miraculous healing from an illness, coinciding with both a visitation from the Blessed Mother and a new and more public calling to share her mystical experiences. Soon she would fall into profound ecstasy not only in the presence of her family, her husband and eight children, but also of people close to her who began to gather to pray, and they, in turn, formed a prayer cenacle, which accompanies her to this day. It was on March 19, 1992, that the Blessed Mother began to speak regularly to Luz de Maria. Since then, she has mostly received two messages per week and on occasion, only one. The messages originally came as internal locutions, followed by visions of Mary, who came to describe Luz de Maria's mission. I had never seen so much beauty, Lou said of Mary's appearance. It's something you can never get used to. Each time is like the first. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.